Uh, we have a guest speaker who has joined us, Linda Neely, who is with Partners in Clay. I'm going to unmute her. Linda, can you hear me? Yes, Bill, I can. Oh, we hear you just fine. Uh, so if you would, please introduce yourself and uh, let's talk about the fundraiser that you're help, with, you're help promoting. Great. I am a retired uh, faculty member from Lander and now working in a co-op uh, pottery studio, Partners in Clay, uh, part of a real community of artists and uh, other community members who are supporting uh, the soup kitchen of Greenwood County. Um, our soup kitchen uh, meets the need of feeding the hungry uh, at about 125 to 140 meals a day. Uh, the need tends to be greater at times when there's unemployment uh, or if people are having medical expenses. Uh, there's um, the soup kitchen is open to all who are hungry with no questions asked. And, and uh, certainly we have a large need in our community. In particular, I work with uh, Empty Bowls, the fundraiser once a year where folks can uh, buy a ticket to an event. And at the event, they receive um, a bowl of soup I uh, get to choose a handcrafted bowl that they keep, and all of the proceeds uh, go to feed the hungry. This is really is possible because of a number of people working together. Uh, we have woodworkers who are turning bowls. We have potters in uh, Greenwood and Edgefield and uh, really the expanded community uh, of pottery uh, producers, basket makers, our local restaurants who donate uh, soups for the event. Uh, we have the Medical Alliance, uh, wives of doctors who are making desserts. And uh, it's a, a festive evening. Now, this being... Um, a pandemic time, we're going to do some other safe practices for the event to have some social distancing. First of all, instead of being just one night, it will be three nights uh, with different scheduled times. People can get their tickets uh, directly from uh, Norm Fawcett, who will mail those tickets to you. And there will be uh, uh, sort of a circuit as the bowls will be spaced out. So you can kind of walk through, choose your bowl, uh, pick up your uh, take home meal and go out the same uh, room, the gymnasium. Uh, so there'll be a minimal uh, contact between folks. Uh, mask will be worn, uh, hand sanitizer, we're really doing all we can to make this safe. And the soup kitchen, is, as you can see in the photo, we're, there's Norm. Uh, we're now, we're serving um, outdoors with a sort of walk by to try to keep the guests uh, also safe. Linda, do you have a feeling for how the need for the soup kitchen has changed during this time of economic and, and health crisis? Is it significantly different than it was in years past? I can tell you the pattern. There are more people who eat at the soup kitchen when unemployment is high. I think we had a real burst, you know, in an uptick in 2010 and then this leveled off somewhat. And uh, we're at uh, 125 to 140 a day, most recently, which is a little bit up. Um, and so it's, it's uh, variable. Dorm Fawcett has frequently said his goal is to serve until there is no need, and that would be wonderful. But at this time, we're still um, in, a, in a time of need. I really do appreciate this year the Greenwood uh, 
County Democratic uh, Party has uh, signed on as a sponsor. Uh, I think now you're seeing our poster, which has a list of all of our sponsors who just donate money directly. Uh, together, these sponsors and the ticket sales provide about one half of the cash outlay needed to operate the soup kitchen, which is pretty amazing for, you know, a once a year event. And of course, we have many members of our community who are donating uh, food or other kinds of items and their time uh, to work at the kitchen. This is entirely a nonprofit venture. Well, we are absolutely thrilled to help out and we appreciate uh, you bringing this to our attention uh, year after year. We've had some very generous donors, even within our own party, that helped make uh, our party's contribution to you possible. So we thank them uh, for helping us help you, and uh, we wish you a great success. Are there tickets still available for sale, or have they gone on sale yet? Uh, no, the tickets go on sale on September the uh, 8th. That's the okay. day after Labor Day, and they usually go fairly quickly. Uh, this year, there will not be uh, walk-in ticket sales but uh, at uh, the Art Center or Chamber of Commerce, but I think you can see on the screen that Norm Fawcett's telephone number. Uh, so after September 8th or on September 8th, give him a call. He'll be glad to hear from you. Fantastic. Well, hey, thank you very much, Linda. I appreciate you being up on a Saturday morning to share this important event with us, and uh, we're glad we can help, and we thank you and all the members of the, um, the Soup Kitchen for the work you're doing for our community. My pleasure. All right.